Hi, I'm Bethany. I work in the research department at JDRF and I'm a soon-to-be first-time mom. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at age 21 and over the past nine years, I've learned to become a very active manager of my diabetes. When my husband and I got married, we knew we wanted to have a family someday. We also knew that my type 1 could complicate the process. So we wanted to educate ourselves about pregnancy and type 1 diabetes. We consulted my endocrinologist who told me the first step was to get my A1C to 6.0 or less. It's true that getting your A1Cs under control is an important first step toward having a safe and healthy pregnancy. Elevated blood glucose levels can lead to risks not only for the baby, but also potentially for the mother. That is why the medical community recommends that women planning to get pregnant have their A1Cs as close to normal as possible. That means below 6.0. I think most people with type 1 diabetes would probably tell you that an important part of managing the disease is having your own team. My team includes my husband and my OB. And working at JDRF, I also have a great group of colleagues who have been a wonderful source of advice and support. For several years, JDRF and its chapters have worked to create support networks and resources through a variety of programs, including local mentor programs, chapter educational symposium events, and a national online diabetes support team. Now, JDRF has added a new resource called the JDRF Pregnancy Toolkit, specifically designed to help people with type 1 who are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. The Pregnancy Toolkit was written by people with type 1 who have had a child and experienced this life stage firsthand. While it is not meant to replace advice from a physician, CDE, or other healthcare professional, it does attempt to address every issue that could arise and allows the reader to find reliable information privately from the comfort of home. For us at JDRF, the Pregnancy Toolkit is an important tool to help make people's lives with type 1 diabetes easier. As I mentioned, the support and encouragement I receive from doctors, friends, and family has been very important. But in the end, it is up to me to follow the best advice and take care of myself and my baby. As most of us with T1D learn to do, I've had to roll with the punches. When I first became pregnant, I was using a relatively small amount of insulin. However, now that I'm in my third trimester, my insulin requirements have quadrupled. With so many changes, it's been very helpful to have a continuous glucose monitor to see the trends in my blood sugars. The lows feel more extreme in pregnancy. I seem to get lower faster and stay lower for a longer period of time, so the CGM is helpful to detect when my blood sugar is falling and it helps me to know when it's coming back up. It's also really helpful overnight, so I know that when I'm sleeping, my blood sugars are normal. Sleep is one-third of my day, so knowing that one-third of the time I'm in perfect control gives me a lot of peace of mind. Bethany's experience with her CGM is really a pretty optimal situation. The CGM doesn't replace traditional finger sticks, but by continuously following blood glucose levels and trends, it can give warnings when those levels start to become unsafe and offer peace of mind in between checks. Studies funded by JDRF have already shown that regular CGM use can improve blood glucose management. Now we are preparing for a new study called CONCEPT, taking place in centers around the world. This study will examine whether regular CGM use in women with type 1 who are pregnant or planning to become pregnant improves their blood glucose control. We would like to see CONCEPT provide the medical community with definitive evidence of the benefit of a CGM for women with type 1 who are planning to have a baby. Today, there is no clearly outlined standard of care in these situations, which means that women can receive different guidance in different parts of the world, and even in different parts of the country. By showing that this treatment can work, we can help women have safer pregnancies.